Please be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Kate Martin, and I am the city clerk at the City of Calgary. It is my honor to welcome you to the City of Calgary's Organizational Meeting of Council Part 1 and our swearing-in ceremony for our members of council. Welcome to all of those who are joining us via the live stream today. I would like to call the first Organizational Meeting of Council to order. I would like to take this opportunity first to acknowledge that we are gathered on the traditional territories of the people of Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta. This includes the Blackfoot Confederacy, made up of the Siksika, Pikani, the Kainai First Nations, the Stony Nakoda First Nations, comprised of the Chiniki, the Bearspaw, and the Wesley First Nations, and the Sutsina First Nation. The City of Calgary is also homeland to the historic Northwest Métis and the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. We acknowledge all Indigenous urban Calgarians who have made Calgary their home. At this time, I am absolutely delighted to call the roll and to introduce your Council-elect. I will ask them to please stand as they are introduced. Mayor-elect Joyti Gondek. Ward 1, Councillor-elect Sonia Sharp. Ward 2, Councillor-elect Jennifer Wynas. Ward 3, Councillor-elect Jasmine Meehan. Ward 4, Councillor-elect Sean Chu. Ward 5, Councillor-elect Raj Dhaliwal. Ward 6, Councillor-elect Richard Poopmans. Ward 7, Councillor-elect Terry Wong. Ward 8, Councillor-elect Courtney Walcott. Ward 9, Councillor-elect Giancarlo Carra. Ward 10, Councillor-elect Andre Chabot. Here. Ward 11, Councillor-elect Courtney Penner. Ward 12, Councillor-elect Evan Spencer. Ward 13, Councillor-elect Dan McLean. Ward 14, Councillor-elect Peter DeMong. Thank you. Before we proceed to the swearing in of members of council, it is now my pleasure to introduce Elder Rod Hunter. Mr. Hunter is a counselor from Bearspaw First Nation. He leads a family drum group and is the lead singer and drummer for the University of Calgary. He is a Sundance maker, a medicine holder, and a residential school survivor. Elder Hunter, please join us to deliver a nation to nation greeting. I do have a face, but this hides it. I'm very honored to speak in front, in front of uh, such prestigious people here. I, uh, I myself am a uh, counselor of the Bearspaw Band and know what it's like to campaign hard, to work hard, to uh, make a difference. And uh, the next four years will determine how hard you people work and will determine whether you get reelected again. I know personally it takes a lot of work and a lot of uh, commitment. Commitment is the biggest one. And, uh, and in, uh, in the spirit of reconciliation, I'm very happy and honored that I am up here for something, uh, uh, something as great because we have a, our first mayor female and uh, I we're not allowed to say our and say the names in, in our culture I'll just say miss mayor uh, thank you for inviting me and uh, it's the first time a stony Nakoda is addressing you people so it's another uh, it's another good mark in history for us from from the Nakoda and Morley I really really thank you for for inviting me and on behalf of the people of Treaty 7, she already introduced them. Congratulations on your hard work. You've done it. 
the new chief and council. Mayor, sorry, I mean, I'm so used to saying chief when I'm talking to my chief and council. And uh, thank you very much again. You know, I, I'm so happy. And my heart is soaring like an eagle that I'm here with you people. Thank you. Thank you, Elder Hunter, for being with us on this important day and imparting your knowledge on us. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Associate Chief Justice John D. Rook of the Court of Queen's Bench of Alberta. Justice Rook was appointed to the Queen's Council in 1987. He was appointed a Justice of the Court of Queen's Bench of Alberta in Calgary in 1991. In 2009, he was appointed Associate Chief Justice. We are happy he can join us today to swear in Mayor-elect. Justice Rook, I invite you to the microphone to say a few words and preside over the administration of the oath of office for the Mayor-elect. Greetings to all. Before I undertake my official duties this afternoon, I propose to make a few brief remarks about my role, the role of the Mayor-elect, and more generally the role of councillors elect and the importance of this occasion as we swear in the 103rd Council of the City of Calgary. Mayor-elect Gondekt, councillors-elect, I'm honoured today to be part of your swearing-in and specifically to swear in you, Mayor-elect Gondekt, as, Ca as Calgary's 37th Mayor and first woman mayor to our esteemed city in its 137 plus years of history since 1884. It is truly a historical ceremony. I wish to speak a little about the two of us and what we bring to this important occasion. We both traveled some of the same territory in the past until we arrived at this place. I came to Manitoba by birth in 1948 from Canadian parents of British ancestry. You, born in the United Kingdom, came to Manitoba much later, because you're much younger than I am, with parents of South Asian ancestry to become citizens of Canada. We both moved from the wealth of Manitoba to our new province and city, obtaining our education and establishing our professions in the process and along the way. For my part, thanks to an innovative and strong but nurturing mother who was in her own right at the time, like you, a woman of leadership in her own way and a very supportive father, I was able to leave a humble family farm to pursue my goals of education and the profession of law, as many others in that community did not go beyond high school. As I understand it, you, with parents who supported and nurtured you, and I understand your mother is here today, also attained your education and profession, attaining a PhD in urban sociology, much more education than I ever got working in a number of fields of business and in community development and planning in the process and since before taking leadership in civic politics. In the years since, we have both risen in leadership in working with our colleagues and our respective professional callings. It is of particular significance that during your term as councillor in Calgary City Council, from 2017 to now, you've gained the trust of not only your council colleagues of that time, but also of the vast majority of Calgarians who elected you in every award in this city. To lead with your supportive colleagues, including three incumbents, 11 new council members, a couple of them with previous experience in this council. You and I only met once to my knowledge, and that was on October 23rd, 2017, when I swore in His Worship, Mayor Nenshi for his third term, you then as a new councillor in Ward 3, and 13 other members of council in the atrium outside this chamber in pre-COVID-19 times. Today is my honour to swear you in in these cha uh, council chambers in a much more modest congregation due, the, due to the continuing ravages of COVID-19. You and members of your council will have successes and challenges in the four years ahead, but I believe that by the time of the next civic election, you will have taken our beloved city to new heights. 
a continuing, quote, center of excellence. I know that's your goal and challenge, and I hope and believe that in a spirit of collegiality and teamwork, you will collectively achieve that. I know too, as you have said, that you will lead with, quote, courage, conviction, and humility as mayor of Calgary in the process. Now my role here today is that of a court of law, not a court of public opinion. I leave the latter to the public and to the politicians. Today my only job is to be performed is to swear in you, Mayor-elect, and other council members as you have requested, and I'll do, turn to do that. So we will now begin the administration of the oath of office for the City of Calgary members of council for the 2021 to 2025 term. I would like to call you forward, Mayor-elect Gondek, to take the oath of office. Now please place your hand, your left hand, on the holy book and raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud that is in front of you. I, Jyoti Gondek, of the City of Calgary, in the province of Alberta, do swear that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law the office of mayor. So help me God. Thank you, Mayor-elect. I now call upon Mr. Todd Gondek, spouse of our new mayor, to come forward and place the chain of office on her worship. Mayor Gondek. Now I can call you your worship. And Mr. Gondek, that means that you have to obey her too. <laughs> we will uh, go to the signing table now and sign to make this official. Distinguished guest, Mayor Gondek. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Honorable Associate Chief Justice Rook. I now have the privilege to swear in each councillor elect. I'll invite you up one at a time based on your assigned seats to read and sign the oath of office. And we will do this in two groups of seven. I will now call up, am I calling individually? Yes, okay, thank you. I will call up Ward 13 Councillor Elect Dan McLean. All right, so you will place your left hand on the holy book and raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud, please. I, Daniel McLean of the city of Calgary in the province of Alberta, do swear that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law 
the, the Office of Councillor, so help me God. All right, I would now like to call up Ward 6 Councillor-Elect Richard Putmans, please. So we will get you to place your left hand on the holy book and raise your right hand and please read the official oath aloud. I, Richard Putmans of the City of Calgary in the province of Alberta, do swear that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law and the office of counsellor, so help me God. Next, I'd like to call on Ward 12 Councillor-Elect Evan Spencer, please. And we will have you place your left hand on the holy book and raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud, please. I, Evan Spencer, of the City of Calgary in the province of Alberta, do swear that I diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, will execute according to law the Office of Councillor, so help me God. Next, I would like to call on Ward 5 Councillor-Elect Raj Thaliwal, please. And we will have you place your left hand on the holy book and raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud. I, Rajdeep Singh Talibal of the city of Calgary in the province of Alberta, do swear that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law the office of counselor. So help me God.
Next, I would like to call on the Ward 3 Councillor elect, Jasmine Meehan, please. And if you could raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud. I, Jasmine Meehan of the City of Calgary in the province of Alberta, do declare that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law the office of the councillor. Next, I will call on Ward 14 Councillor elect Peter DeMond, please. And we will have you place your left hand on the holy book and raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud. I, Peter DeMong, of the City of Calgary in the province of Alberta, do swear that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law the office of the councillor, so help me God. Next, I will call on Ward 11 Councillor elect Courtney Penner, please. And we'll have you raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud, please. I, Courtney Penner of the City of Calgary and the Province of Alberta, do declare that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law the Office of Councillor. Congratulations to everyone. I will now ask you to return to your seats in the gallery, please.
I'll now start with our next group of councillors. First, I'd like to invite up Ward 8 Councillor-Elect Courtney Walcott. I'll have you raise your right hand and please read the official oath aloud. I, Courtney Walcott of the City of Calgary in the province of Alberta, do declare that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law the Office of Councillor. Next, I will call on Ward 2 Councillor-Elect Jennifer Linus, please. Please raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud. I, Jennifer Winus, of the City of Calgary in the province of Alberta, do declare that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute, according to the law, the Office of Councillor. Next, I'll call on Ward 7 Councillor-Elect Terry Wong, please. Please place your left hand on the holy book and raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud. I, Terry Wong, as my father called me, Wong Kin Loy, of the City of Calgary in the province of Alberta do swear that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to the law the office of the councillor. So help me God. Next, I will call up Ward 10 Councillor-Elect Andre Chabot. <laughs> Please place your left hand on the holy book and raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud. I, <clears throat> start over. I, Andre Chabot of the City of Calgary and the Province of Alberta, 
do swear that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to the law, the office of counselor. So help me God. Next, I will call up Ward 9 Councillor Elect Giancarlo Carra. Please raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud. I, Giancarlo Carra, the City of Calgary in the province of Alberta do declare that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law the office of counselor. I'd like to call on Ward 1 Councillor Elect Sonia Sharp. Please raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud. I, Sonia Sharp, of the City of Calgary, in the province of Alberta, do declare that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law the office of counselor. Right, councillors, please stay at your seats, and I will now ask the Honourable Associate Chief Justice John D. Rook to return to the microphone.
Thank you, Your Worship. I would now like to swear in, as requested, uh, Ward 4 Councillor elect Sean Chu. Councillor elect, please uh, place your left hand on the holy book and raise your right hand and read the official oath aloud. I, Sean Chu, of the city of Calgary, in the province of Alberta, do swear that I will diligently, faithfully, and to the best of my ability, execute according to law, the office of the counselor, so help me God. Back to you, Madam Chairman. Thank you, Honourable. Thank you, Honourable Associate Chief Justice Rook. Congratulations to everyone. I will ask you now to please rise and return back to your seats. Thank you. At this time, it's my pleasure to invite your worship, Mayor Gondek, to now take your seat at the mayor's desk in the council chamber. And assume the role. Thank you very much, Madam Clerk. I would now like to invite Elder Hunter and his son Anders to come back up for the honor song. The song we're going to sing is from the University of Calgary, Honor Song. I asked them, is it appropriate to sing for you people? And they were very honored. I gifted them this song a while back, and uh, it has a spirit through Creator. So pray for yourselves as we sing it. <laughs> Yeah. 
Thank you so much, Elder Hunter and Anders. Everyone, please be seated. On behalf of my council colleagues, I thank you, Calgary. I thank you for providing us all with the opportunity to serve you. As your new council, we are committed to governing with vision, with courage, and with compassion. I am grateful to have such a brilliant group of councillors to work with. Together, we will build a team that acts with integrity, with a focus on offering all Calgarians a great life in this city. To our colleagues in administration, we look forward to a partnership that thrives through strong operational guidance from the experts and strategic decision-making from this council. To our partners in the Treaty 7 nations, the business community, the arts, the social services sector, and the grassroots community organizations, we are privileged to walk with you in our collective service to Calgarians. We have an opportunity to shine everyone, and we will do so together. Now, before I ask for a motion to recess, I'd like to say a special thank you to everyone who's joining us today and joining us via the live stream. This is indeed a very odd swearing-in ceremony because of COVID, but I'm pleased so many people could join us online. And we have a piece of business to take care of now. I believe it's slide 25. We will need to vote on a deputy mayor for the period of October 25th to November 1st of 2021. The motion is on the screen to appoint Councillor DeMong as deputy mayor until next Monday. May I have a mover for that, please? Looks like Councillor Chabot and the seconder, it looks like is Councillor Carra. Thank you very much, that's carried. Oh, hold on, all in favor. Thank you, any against? All right, now it's carried. While there are a few more things that we need to do this afternoon, that does complete the ceremony. The clerk will provide a few more instructions in just a moment. Uh, but first, I need to get a mover to recess the, move, the meeting and to reconvene in council chambers on Monday, the 1st of November, 2021, at 9.30 a.m. to continue with the 2021 organizational meeting of council. Who would like to move that? Councillor Putmans, thank you. And who would like to second it? Councillor Wong, thank you. All in favor? Any opposed? Seeing none, that's carried. Council will now recess. <laughs>